Hey guys, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 20. Um, yeah, we are slowly coming to an end of our cleaning and yeah. So let me just show you guys what we have done. Look at these. And I'm gonna put, I think, well, I don't know if I'm gonna put anything more there. And my son's cords are not gonna be there and neither is his Rubik's Cube. So, yeah. And then, yeah, I'm not gonna show you everything because yes, yeah, is still a mess. Um, but yeah, we have a little, little crowd of Santas and, and, and yeah. They are not going to be there, all of them. Like, this bunch here is gonna be moved. So only that is going to be on the table. And then we have these cuties in the window. Look at him! And there's one there. So cute. And I don't know if I can show you anything in the kitchen. No, I can't, not yet. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Okay, so I'm going to actually show you guys our bedroom because it's finally done again oh wait i'll show you guys this see it's so pretty and then off we go la da dee da oh yeah i made curtains for three windows today yeah i'm gonna show you but never mind the clutter in the window but I made these and then let's move into the guest bedroom hubby's cleaning the floor so I might get soaking wet on my feet yeah. and then I made these there's four of them and yeah this room is actually a mess now well not a mess but there's like a ton of clean clothes hang on I'll just show you guys I don't care I have like a ton of clean clothes because what I've been doing is I've been washing and I've been cleaning in the house I've been baking so I haven't had time to put the clothes away so I'm gonna have to do that and yeah and I'll show you guys John's room um, even though he's not done yet but we actually decorated his walls he has one there too but he has like um, Marvel heroes, superheroes, he has Turbo, he has turtles and then I made this like um, storage unit that you just chuck on your wall and his bed this is where my, my baby brother will be sleeping his curtains and his pretty blue lights and he got a little Christmas tablecloth right there and this is what he's going to be decorating. He's going to be decorating that little fake tree. With, and he has three angels. And then there's like four different Santa's, teddies, and a lot of other things. So he's going to be decorating that for Christmas. And let's move on. Yeah. So you're getting a little bit of a house tour today even though I'm not showing you everything but yeah oh blue light oh yeah oh yeah no. baby girl's room she has the pretty lights and I didn't get to finish her curtains because I'm just yeah I'm knackered and she has a pretty empty shelf because you can see where everything has gone <laughs> onto the floor but yeah um, probably going to put some decorations up in those two shelves and then there's this uh, music thingy and then this one that my mom made and she has her little aquarium wall and these are supposed to glow in the dark but it's really really weak so yeah um, but yeah that's baby girl's room and I'll show you guys my bathroom do a little bit of a bathroom tour. I'm gonna have to shut this one off first for a little bit. Sorry, oops, very close. 
Okay, so first off, we have our shower. Yeah, it's just like building thingy. And then we have my cupboard with all my stuff, both on top and in my cupboard and under. And then all my thingies here. And we have this hand soap with pomegranate smell. We have my hand food, soap dispenser, baby girl's uh, bath. We have hubby's cupboard with his stuff. And then John has this shelf for him. Um, yeah, we have some stuff up there too. And then we have Christmas curtains. And we have this guy. It says, step a little further forwards. It is not as big as you think. And then the tiny, tiny, tiny writing down there says, when you can read this, you're close enough. And it's just so, so funny. So, and we have baby girls toys right there. We have the bathtub and yeah. And baby girls dresser um, where we keep uh, towels and stuff and baby girls nappies and things so yeah that's our bathroom hi and moving on moving on now here is our bedroom almost all done hubby has to fix that but it's almost done we have my Christmas dress and baby girl's Christmas dress and some pretty lights in there and a sheep teddy um, that shelf we're gonna put things in it we just yeah we just got it so it's not really done and then we have like my, my little corner of clothes and um yeah and then we have this one where I have hang on I have this one, um, this is like moisturizer for really dry skin and it works like a charm. I have some hand food and I have this one and this has become an obsession for me, Dr. Lip. This is just amazing. I have a little book that I decorated, I have a pencil and then I have a homemade um, eye cover. And then we have my pretty little station. I just simply love this. And I bought a new mirror because the other one was so tiny. So I bought this one. And now let's see if I can turn this one on. Look! So pretty! Oh yeah! So I'll probably get back to filming some more here. Um, yeah, I have some jewelry down here because I don't have anywhere to put my jewelry I can just put that one there but yeah I have my tripod there by the way and a trash can but yeah that's our bedroom um so yeah and our hallway which has basically nothing in it until you come around here and uh, yeah and hubby has been I don't know what he's been fixing but there's a hammer here. We have some saunas and then we have my aquarium with my little fishies. See my fishies? And it's really dirty, I know. But I have this little guy. This little snail that's supposed to clean it up. And there's actually one here too. See that little orange thingy? That's a snail too, but we think it's dead because it's like never out. And there should be like two tiny fish there. And there they are. Those two tiny fishes clean up the algae as well because my big one died. So yeah. And I have those fishes. See the one in there. I hope he's cleaning. It's a good happy. So yeah. So that was at least some vlogmas for the day. Yeah. Even though it's actually night time now. Yeah, um, but I'm going to bake Yulebra, so I'll show you guys that in a bit. So see you shortly. So you guys, I am going to make Yulebra 
I actually filmed all this once before today but guess what the whole recipe doesn't work yeah I made two rounds of dough and pfft, nothing so starting over this time I'm using my um, sweet bun dough yeah as good as it gets because I know this one works so let's just get to it so what I'm doing is I'm melting 100 grams of butter. I have here 4 deciliters of milk, um, either skimmed milk or light milk. I'm not sure what you guys call it. You need one packet of yeast. Uh, you need one deciliter of sugar. Give me a sec. I'm actually kind of annoyed because yeah I'm actually going to use one and a half deciliter of sugar to have a little bit of sweeter one like that and I am just pouring this into my machine then you need um, where's my teaspoons You need cardamom, you need a half a teaspoon, and this spoon is a little bit small, so I'm going to use some more. Like that. Dumping that in there, you need a half a teaspoon of salt. Where's my salt? There it is. And I'm not using any more. This is about half, like that. And then you need one teaspoon of baking soda or baking powder, I don't know what you guys call it. One teaspoon of that down in there. And then you need about one liter of multi-purpose flour. Um, yeah, but I am going to add a little bit of vanilla sugar into my mix. So just taking about one and a half teaspoons of vanilla sugar. Butter is melting really nicely, like that. Um, where's my flour? There's my flour. Let's see if this is in here. And this one has measurement for one litre so I'm going to use that oops sorry now pouring the milk into the butter checking the temperature and that's cold, so I'm putting it back on the stove to get it heated some. And now I'm going to measure up the flour. It's so much fun when you are spending time and money making something and it doesn't work. It's like, yeah, it's no fun at all. That's one liter of flour. Um, 
going to put my knees into the bowl. There's a knife. Like that. And see, the other recipe that I used had two packets of yeast and still did not rise. Putting my flour into there. in this little mix and yes, I'm using a knife. It was what I had handy. And now that is a little bit above your body heat temperature. Putting the mix on there. Just running this for a little bit. Just mixing the yeast a little bit. Pouring the milk and butter. And if it doesn't like this one, I'm giving up. But I think it will, because this recipe is a lot better. And I know this recipe does rise because it, I have made it before. So now I'm just going to run this. Pouring a little bit more flour because it's a little bit runny, but it shouldn't get hard. Not French. A little bit more. Just to have a little bit more of a consistency that sticks to the size. Now Going back, picking up my raisins, adding in my raisins, like that, should be enough, and then Putting this on slow mo, or oh, kind of slow mo, just to get raisins to go into the dough. And just speeding it up a little bit, like that. Now putting this aside to rise. Come on, give me. Okay, I'm just trying to get everything off. So like that, now this is going to be rising for, I don't know, some time, half an hour I think, and then I'll be back. Hey guys, okay, so after having had the horrible experience with the other two doughs, I totally forgot to film um, me basically making the bread. Um, so what I did is I left the dough to rise for about 30 minutes and then I made uh, I cut the dough into two parts and then I made two round bread I'm going to show you guys and hang on, here they are these are now being left to rise for about one hour the dough was rising for half an hour now this is rising for one hour and then I'm putting it into the oven on 200 degrees Celsius no 190 on my oven about 200 if you have um, colder oven um, and they are going to bake 
for about I don't know um, you basically just have to watch them because what I'm doing is I'm using a bun recipe a sweet bun recipe and the sweet bun recipe says to put them in for 10 to 15 minutes that's not gonna work with that size of buns so I'm just gonna have to watch them but I'm thinking somewhere between 30 minutes and 50 um, so yeah you just have to watch them and the safest bet is actually to take like either knitting needle or thin thin knitting needle and stick it into your bread and see if dough is stuck to it when it, it comes out again if it's not then it's done um, so yeah just watch it and look at the, the colour and I put them on the bottom of my oven uh, well basically not all the way down because my lower um, heating elements are so good that they will burn the bottom side if I do so I put them like on top of the lower parts um, so yeah I'm gonna put pictures on my blog of the finished product as well as pictures of um, our gingerbread village because we made a gingerbread village from scratch um, and that will also be on my blog a bigger picture so you can see it and um, yeah that would be any air uh, anything everything for vlogmas day 20 and I'm so sorry for being so late bad 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 dough but yeah, I love you guys so, so much and I will see you guys tomorrow.